very small kitchen and my independent review of the Bosch Series 8 SMV 88TD00G fully integrated dishwasher. Bosch categorise their appliances as classic Series 2, 4, 6 and then the top of the range Series 8. That's what this appliance is. It has all the bells and whistles and in this review I hope to give you an honest opinion of the features and pros and cons that make up this machine. First of all, you could open the door in the normal way. However, this being the top end model, if you simply press, the door opens automatically. For two reasons, you may have a handle-free seamless kitchen, or you may want to use the eco-dry option that this dishwasher has, where at the end of the cycle, the door will open, allowing the steam to escape, and therefore your pots and pans are dried in a more economical way than using the other drying options, okay? Opening the machine, you can feel the quality. This is German built, and as with other appliances, um, like Miele, Neff, Siemens, for example, you can tell that this is a quality appliance. I'm very pleased with how it feels, how it looks, how the racks are smooth and easy to operate. You certainly feel like what you have paid for, you are getting your money's worth. Interior light comes on as soon as you open the door. Excellent for night time when you're down in the kitchen, you don't want to put the big light on, you just want to grab something out of there quickly without fumbling around. You can see what you are doing. Plenty of adjustments inside, we'll talk about that shortly in a moment. But first of all, let's have a look at the options when it comes to wash cycles on this machine. There are three automatic options on this machine. Auto 35 to 45 for lightly soiled items, Auto 45 to 65 for basically a general wash. And then finally, automatic 65 to 75. I use this program for the Sunday roast clean, when you have a combination of roasting tins, plates, cups, everything else, and you have basically crammed as much as you possibly can in this machine, and you want to make sure it gets fully cleaned. The auto program is pretty straightforward. What happens is when you start it, the machine will pre-rinse, it will analyse how dirty the water is, and based on that, it will adjust the temperature of the water and the duration of the wash cycle. When you activate any of these programmes, you will be told how long it will take. With automatic programmes, always remember that that is normally an average estimate of time. Most of the time i found it's a lot shorter than the advertised time. However, sometimes, and that's in particular when you're using the really heavy load wash program, the auto 65 to 75, those times are a little bit longer, okay? After the automatic programs, you have Super 60. Best way to think of this is to simply think of a bog standard dishwasher that doesn't have many advanced features, it simply has wash. That's what I would consider um, Super 60 as. It fills up with water, washes it, empties, fills up again, rinses, empties, fills up again, dries, done. Eco 50, this program uses less water, it does take longer and it uses a lower water temperature in order to save money. Obviously, as I've said, it does take longer to wash. Night 50, slightly different. Again, this is a long wash program. The reason it's longer this time is because firstly, the temperature is lower, but to make it classed as night, the water jet pressure is lower. Therefore, it makes slightly less noise. To be honest, I don't notice much difference between the noise levels on any of the programs. I don't tend to use Night 50, I don't tend to use Eco 50, I tend to stick to the automatic programs just because they work for me. Quick 45. This is a program I don't use, but I must point out that compared to other dishwashers that I've had that have quick programs, this one actually washes and dries whereas previous dishwashers have had just wash, and then you end up having to dry everything yourself, which kind of defeats the purpose. Um, this one does wash and dry, and it does that all in 45 minutes. 
I have used it occasionally. It certainly works okay on very lightly soiled items. Perhaps you're having a dinner party and you want to stick plates in there after the starter, get them washed and they'll be ready for dessert later on. That would work. It certainly doesn't work if you fill it with greasy pots and pans. It just doesn't have the wash power to do that. Finally, you have pre-rinse. This option is a quick, although it is about 18, 20 minutes long, wash program that you can use if you happen to not use a dishwasher very often. Instead, you like to fill it, use it, uh, maybe every other day you're a smaller family, you simply don't fill it enough and it's not worth putting it on. Pre-rinse just keeps things a little bit clean, it reduces smells, it keeps things damp, so um, it helps soften burnt on food for example so when you do come to wash it it washes a lot better. Those are your wash programs. On the other side you have add-ons so you select the wash program and then you select add-ons if you choose to. For example starting that allows you to start this program um, in a range of times and you can be very precise with this it does allow you to pick pretty much any time you like. Intensive zone. This is brilliant for those really, really burnt on roasting dishes. I tend to use the intensive zone in combination with the automatic 65 to 75 on a Sunday when I'm washing my Sunday roast dishes. The bottom basket jet is twice as powerful as it normally is and this applies to the entire base of the unit. Unlike some dishwashers that I've seen that have intensive zones where you have to position a pot or pan over a particular area, this one, the whole bottom basket is jetted more powerfully, which is excellent because it means you don't have to worry about that. You can pack it full and just let it get it on with. Vario Speed is an option that you'll find on um, Bosch washing machines as well as many of their dishwashers. It basically reduces the time of all of the programs except the quick 45 and it means that you get everything completed quicker at the same time at the same efficient cleaning standard at the cost of electricity and water. It uses more water, it uses more electricity because it's washing the dishes um, a lot quicker. This dishwasher works, it's more economical because it will wash the bottom and then it will wash the top and then it will wash the bottom and it will wash the top and it will flick between the two throughout the cycle. That means it has to put less water in the bottom because it's not doing both at the same time. When you select Vario Speed, more water is filled in and both at the same time go around, therefore the dishes wash a lot quicker. Half Load. This is a great programme because unlike other dishwashers I've had, Half Load doesn't mean top basket only, which is the case in most dishwashers. In this range, when you select half road, you can put things at the top and at the bottom and it will wash both of them perfectly well using less water, less energy. Hygiene Plus, that is the sterilise option. So perhaps you have young children or you have been a little bit ill and you want to make sure that anything you wash is sterilised. Hitting Hygiene Plus means that the final rinse is extra hot, therefore the items in the dishwasher are sterilised. Obviously, if you're going to use that feature, you do have to be aware that extra hot water could potentially damage some items. You know, cheap plastics, for example, may slightly warp if you are not careful. Finally, shine and dry. One of the massive pros of this machine is its drying ability. It has in it a feature called zeolith. Okay, zeolith is a um, mineral which is inside the dishwasher at the bottom. At the back of the dishwasher there is an element which basically sucks in the moist air from the final rinse, passes it through the zeolith which absorbs the moisture and at the same time produces even more heat through chemical reaction. That hot dry air is then blown back inside the dishwasher and circulates around and perfectly dries your plastic items. Inside the dishwasher you'll find a detergent drawer which slides down and locks into place and then pops open during wash and next door the rinse aid. Inside we have the bottom rack which slides out considerably far 
so you have easy access to the full space at the bottom. Anything you see with a red part to it basically identifies as adjustable. So here, the bottom basket with the prongs, if we wanted to, we could reduce the two middle ones down and that will give you extra large space designed for large sheets or um, large pots and pans. Again, you can go even further and you can lower both down and then you have a flat surface for easy access for pots and pans at the bottom. The back prongs are slightly different. You have a little bit more control of what degree you can lower them. So here, for example, I can lock it into place at an angle. Now, the reason you want to do that is because at the back, you can lower this down and then you can place stemware here that lie flat. You can do the same with the one at the back as well. And then here, you can lower this down and then you have stemware can be placed here onto the bottom and the same at the back. So you could technically load glasses at the back of the machine, plates at the front and organise it that way. This is not like older dishwashers where plates went at the bottom, glassware went at the top. It's a lot more customisable um, with this dishwasher. Going up, we have the middle basket which slides out and again, just like before, you can customise it by adjusting the racks to create flat areas. You've got prongs here, so you can add extra space. And then finally, you have racks that lock up on here. So you do have a lot of customization of the top rack. One of the benefits of this machine is the fact that you may have noticed there is no cookery basket at the bottom. I have a lot more space at the bottom because my cookery basket is just here. This has a third rack which slides out. Now this is absolutely amazing. First of all you have tons of space to stack all your cutlery along your um, large spoons and utensils. You can adjust the size of the prongs here. If you have knives, for example, that are slightly wider and need to fit in. And if you wanted to, although I don't use it very often, you can adjust and create extra space here so you could put small cups, maybe espresso cups, along the bottom. The cutlery basket slides back. Now, one drawback of the cutlery basket, you may have already noticed it, it does affect how much height you have between the middle basket and the top of the machine. This causes issues to me when I'm trying to stack stemware because the top of the stemware will poke up too much and hit the top of the dishwasher. Um, you can remove this basket completely. It does come out. You can remove it on its rollers and you can, if you wanted to buy one on the internet, purchase a cutlery basket and stick that in the bottom and therefore you have maximum space at the top as well as maximum space at the bottom. But then of course you're losing area because you've got the cutlery basket in. This little section here, this is quite clever and quite unique that I've seen. When the dishwasher opens the detergent, the detergent, if it's a tablet, which I tend to use, falls into this basket here instead of the bottom and therefore it is fully dissolved when the dishwasher jets will um, completely dissolve it here. So it guarantees that you won't end up with a tablet falling at the back somewhere and not dissolving completely. So that's a tour inside the dishwasher. So pros and cons. Pro, this machine is amazing at drying both plastics and glassware. It is absolutely fantastic how well it does every time. I was blown away by how amazing it could dry everything. Another pro is the features, the range of features it has. The interior light is fantastic. The wash cycles are brilliant, although perhaps there are too many of them. And sometimes you stand in front of it thinking, which one should I pick? Which one shall I pick? Go for the auto and just let it get on with it and it tends to do a good job. Another pro is the amount of space that you get inside thanks to the three rack system. Um, 
cons. Right. I love the three rack system and I love the cutlery basket. However, it does take up that extra bit of space at the top and it does mean that when you are stacking the dishwasher, you have to be especially careful of where you place glasses because sometimes you can place a glass and it will hit the top of the basket and you won't be able to close it. Likewise, I've got this dishwasher basket set in the middle. You can adjust it higher, you can adjust it lower. In the middle, I found that I just have enough space to put my glasses in and my tallest plate just fits in the bottom. Just fits in the bottom. If I could remove this top basket, I would take this higher and I'd have a lot more space um, and I wouldn't have the issues. But the feature of this is that you have a, a third rack, so therefore I don't know why you'd want to remove it if you couldn't. Another con on this machine is, surprise, surprise, really, it's washing ability. This is a strange one. It does a fantastic job, 95% of the time. What I found, and this is actually in the instruction manual as well, it warns you, if you place a cup or a glass in one of the four corners of the basket, in the upper basket, it tends to come out still unclean. I don't know why, but it seems like the jets don't quite reach the top um, of each corner. And what the problem is, it dries everything amazingly, so you end up with a perfectly dry glass, which is then encrusted with a fine spray of particles that have been sprayed onto it, but haven't come off. So that's one con when it comes to washing <clears throat> that really disappointed me with this. I didn't expect it. I've never had that issue on any other dishwasher I've owned. It didn't matter where you put anything, it got it clean. This one, I do have to be careful that I don't put, say, a pint glass in the back because it won't clean it. It will end up coming out with dirt on it and that really bugs me, especially when this is meant to have sensors that sense how dirty things are and if it's still dirty, it keeps on cleaning. So, this was my review of the Bosch Series 8 dishwasher. I kept it short and sweet. It was my first review. I'm going to do some others on my other appliances that I have. Um, so please forgive me if it's a little bit rough and ready. I'm still learning the ropes of giving a good review. If you have any comments or questions, pop it in the bottom and I will read them and I will type the answers in if you have any questions um, about this product. Um, but I'm certainly happy to tell you more. Okay. Thank you for listening and I hope you found it informative.